In this video, we will see a simple and basic technique on how we can make a selection with the path tool. If you want to follow along, you can find the download link for the image in the video description. We will start by making the path tool active. This can be done by right clicking in the image, going to tools and then click on paths. Or we can just click on the paths icon in the toolbox. The shortcut for this tool is the B key. The edit mode design should be checked by default. Zoom into the object by holding the control key and rolling the mouse wheel away from you. Click the first node. Then click the second node, hold the left mouse button down and drag out the handle just a little bit. Let go of this handle. Now click and drag the other handle to make the curve like so. When this looks good, we click the next node, hold the left mouse button down and again we drag it out just a little bit. Click and drag the other handle to make the curve. In this way we can make a very precise selection with the path tool. Press and hold the spacebar down, we can, by moving the mouse without clicking, move the image. With Ctrl Z we can undo one or more previous steps. And with Ctrl Y we can redo them again. In this way we go around our subject. For the sake of the tutorial we will go fast forward. When we are close to the first node, we hover the mouse pointer over it. Press and hold the control key and when the chain icon is visible, we can click to close the path. By clicking and dragging nodes, we can still make corrections. Zoom out or press Ctrl Shift J to maximize the image in the window. Now we can, in the same way, make a second selection in the same image. Click the first node. Click the second node. Hold the left mouse button down and drag the handle out a little bit. Then click and drag the other handle to make the curve. When this looks good, we click the following node, hold the left mouse button down again and drag it out a little bit. Click and drag the other handle to make the curve. Continue in this way until we are back at the first node. Then we hover over it, hold the control key and when the chain is visible we click to close the path. Press Ctrl Shift J once more. Now we can click the button Selection from Path and there we have our selection. When we hit the B key, the path is invisible, but the Paths tool is still active. And there we have a simple and easy way to make very accurate selections with the Paths tool. In the video description is a link to an in-depth article on the GIMP website about the Paths tool. I hope this tutorial helps and if that's so, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for watching.